I just want to talk about my failure. Oh, it's playing without me wanting to play it. There we go. That's another failure with technology. But the reason I wanted to share this video was because this is a video of my first ski lesson. Uh, let me see if I can play it again. So the person with the white jacket and the, bla uh, the black trouser, that's me. And as you can see, well, I go fine. I start off fine, overconfident, um, and I decide to make a turn. And then I lose control completely. And as you can see, I fall flat on my face. And that is, well, I still won't call it a failure simply because I think I... I learned a lot from it. I'm really grateful that happened. And the reason I wanna talk about this is because I have been putting off learning skiing for a very long time. And the reason mainly was thanks to Schumacher because that put a fear in my mind thinking, okay, if I go skiing, I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna fall off a cliff. I'm gonna break my spine. and I'm gonna be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. And certainly that's not what I want. So, that kept me off skiing for a very long time. And this time when I was asking my daughter to do something, not skiing, uh, something completely unrelated, related to more education, she said, no, she didn't want to give it a go. And I asked, why not? And she said, oh, well, what if, what if things don't go the way I want them to go? So she said, okay, you can't let fear of failure stop you. And that's when she challenged me, but you don't want to go skiing because you know something bad could happen. So how is this any different? And that was a challenge. So now as a mother, I wanted to step up to be a role model. And I thought, you know what? Yes, I'm going to go skiing. I'm going to prove it that nothing can happen. And this is how I started. I fell flat on my face. And several good things came out of this. One was I was able to deal with that fear, which is I knew exactly what was going to happen. I knew my fear was I would fall and hurt myself. But when I fell, I didn't, well, I'm standing right here, which just means that I'm not in a wheelchair or paralyzed for the rest of my life. I realized that falling on snow doesn't really hurt you that much. So nothing really happened. And that big fear was just taken away in, in a split second like that, which was great. So I'm glad I fell because now I don't fear falling anymore. Secondly, I still don't call it a failure because I haven't given up. I Yeah, okay, I can't ski. Uh, definitely I can't yet, but... I will say I failed when I actually stopped learning. I haven't stopped learning, so I still have hope that I will someday be able to ski. So that's 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 the second thing. Third thing I learned was I was able to get back up and analyze what went wrong. The first thing my my ski um, coach or ski tutor said to me was, well, you know what happened there, Nikita? I was like, um, no. He said, you took off even before I could say anything to you. I was trying to tell you your posture's not right. You need to need to lean forward, but before I could say anything, you had taken off. So now there you go. I learned what I need to do right while well, focus on my posture. So several things I could, I was able to analyze what went wrong as well. Um, so this so-called failure um, in my first key lesson, falling flat on my face, was a good lesson for me. It was a good lesson for my daughter as well, that it's okay, you cannot let fears hold you back. And the biggest thing was when I had realized what, what was holding me back, which was my fear, I could put in mitigating strategies. I knew that I was afraid of falling and hurting myself, hurting my spine, being paralyzed for the rest of my life. So I had loads of padding on, I had a helmet on and everything. So I had my mitigation strategies as well. So all of this Falling flat on my face taught me that it's okay to fall flat on your face and nothing happens. And you know what the cherry on the top, the bonus was that when I felt like that and when I got back up, I thought people would be laughing at me. Not a single person laughed. People looked their faces for like they had seen a ghost and that was out of concern. So there's humanity still alive. People were really concerned that I was hurt and everyone came to help me, which was great. So nobody laughed at me. People were concerned. People cared. People gave me a helping hand. People gave me tips after that, what to do, what not to do. So a lot of good things came out of this. Um, well, just to summarize, falling flat on my face taught me to face my fears because that was the fear of falling flat on my face that was holding me back. Because of that fear, I could put in mitigation strategies in place and I could still go ahead and do what I've always wanted to do. I was able to analyze where I went wrong, which was not listening to my coach. And lastly, I was able to be a role model to someone that I love. 
And same way, if you work with teams or even for your family, if you're able to take a brave step, you will be encouraging other people around you to take a brave step as well. And yes, when you make mistakes like that, I, I think it was Chris who said uh, when he stood for the first time in front of audience and talk, uh, he was shivering. And it's okay. I bet, Chris, that other people who were watching you must have felt if he can do that, I can do that too. And it's okay to do that. So even if you think that things didn't go well, I bet a lot of people must have been inspired by you. So, so yeah, that, that was my learning from falling flat on my face. And uh, yeah, uh, I wanted to actually talk about three things about failure, but I think I'll take that up next time because I'm running out of time, probably we're already run out of time. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you.